everyone. Hey. It's Sarah and Eric from Mythic Live. And today we kind of have a really unique video for you. Um, we're approaching the Day of the Dead and Halloween. And so we wanted to talk to you about how to actually be in relationship with the spirit world. Um, and how do we do that? <laughs> and so and in why so many traditions, <laughs> there is this sense of really honoring our ancestors and giving gifts to the spirits. You know, Halloween, it's like, what do you give to the spirits when people trick or treat? You give candy and stuff and, and you put out sugar skulls and, and fruit offerings. So um, this idea of connecting to our ancestors, connecting to the spirit realm, it's, it's about really feeding life into a relationship. Um, it's, and it is spirits. It's not just people you're related to. It's people that you've had a dynamic with people that hold a space for you. Um, and when you connect with the spirit realm, when you connect to these ancestors, to friends and loved ones that have passed over pets, even it feeds life into the relationship and it fills an area of your life that may have been missing before. I was sharing with Eric that I've been having a couple dreams with a uh, close friend that passed away and it really reminds us too, you know, working with, with him in spirit form, one, you're not alone. And that it, you know, it, it reminds us too that like your life in this human body, once you leave this human body, it's, it's not where it ends. Um, that we do continue on. And so this relationship, actually giving it uh, a place and feeding it um, really helps you anchor in that deeper knowing. Um, so you will notice that you feel carried, that you feel supported, and that you may even have visitations, whether it's in dream form or in other form of these beings on the other side that actually really believe in you and love you and care for you a lot. Um, so, and as we feed these relationships energy, when we connect, when we communicate with, with the spirits and our ancestors, um, we can, sometimes will receive insight, guidance, support, miracles. Um, and it, it brings that spiritual life into an area. So, you know, so many of these traditions have become Hallmark holidays and yes, it's fun to dress up with for Halloween. I, I absolutely love this time of the year, but bringing it to a deeper meaning, bringing it to another place. And yes, you can close your eyes, connect into your heart and, and through your feelings, through your thoughts, communicate with spirits, but it's also beautiful to bring it into ritual. That's what these traditions are about, is, is having some ceremony, having some ritual around it. So what we like to do, and this is something I, I originally learned from my mother, and it's a really big thing in Mexico with Day of the Dead, is creating an ancestor altar, um, where you may put a photo, you may put an object that represents the relationship you had with them, certain things that they liked, you know, a piece of chocolate or, you know, for my father, my mo mother would always put a shot of tequila out for him, you know, stuff like that. So you're actually bringing some offering into it. You're bringing something that represents them. Yeah. As you're saying, um, fruits, the fruits, sugar skulls, my grandmother candle, loved turquoise. Yeah, I'd put that. The candle feeds the altar. Yeah. It gives it life force and energy. And it's meant to be an art piece. So, you know, have fun with it. You can be abstract with it. You can be very simple and practical of just a photo and a candle. Uh, the idea is that you are creating a portal. You're creating an altar to call in the ancestors. And each time you go and you light the candle on the, on the altar, you know, you can have a little prayer. You can also sit in meditation and communicate with them. Um, this becomes a really beautiful time of the year to start to embrace this aspect. And what ends up coming through is the memories from the relationship, things that you may have forgot that 
are meaningful. It reactivates life lessons that may sit there stagnant and it brings out qualities in you that that can be really beautiful to embrace. And this is really important too. Like if you're really in a place of feeling a little alone on your path and your journey, like you being the initiator to reach out to your ancestor, it helps strengthen the bridge between the two of you um, so that you can receive, which is really beautiful. So put those ancestor altars together. We'd love to see some photos of them. If you want to put them up on the Facebook group, that'd be awesome, or email them to us. This is something that can be quite beautiful. Um, we may even do a Facebook Live to do this ourselves. And um, we are diving deep into all of this in this next month's soul guide of looking at ancestral karma, genetic karma, and are really doing some beautiful things coming up here in the next month. So thank you for joining us today, everybody, and uh, we'll see you all next week.